Hey, this is James McClendon with uh, GMC Custom Dyes. I thought I'd go over this little hydraulic press uh, I put together. Uh, Jason Nichols was the one that turned me on to this setup. Uh, we'll start off with the press itself. It's a uh, hydraulic uh, hose crimping tool. Now what I've done is I've come in and covered uh, the collet body up with uh, big plate and I uh, did the same with the top. I've also put removable dies in where I need like drawing dies from like that I've got that made. The pump, now Jason uses uh, air over hydraulic but I've just got a little bit of air compressor that would never push it. So I purchased this uh, hydraulic pump off the internet. Uh, of course it's Chinese and the instructions that come with it were uh, far from good. In fact they were really bad English and they didn't really even cover the uh, how to's on this pump. I had to guess. So one of the things that the instruction said he had a bleeder valve on it. Well this pump does not have a bleeder valve and you would think that this thing right here was it but uh, this is actually where you set your your uh, pressure relief valve so this pumps uh, set at 6,000 psi which is uh, about the max on the, on the unit here uh, I originally set it up for the pump to be on the left hand side but you see where the hose exits off the real elephant in the room with this pump is and I didn't catch it when I bought it was that the uh, high pressure side might be 10,000 psi but there's a residual low pressure and uh, so when the pumps fully compressing uh, it's going pretty good but when you put the valve you would think that it would you know it would release the piston but it does not and I'll show you that So to release the piston, you gotta turn it off. Now, I, there's, there's gonna be a couple ways I'm gonna have to get around this. Either I'm gonna put a secondary set of valves on it, or, um, or put an on-off switch on the floor and just leave the switch on all the time and I just hit the switch with, a, with my foot. So we're going to um, show you how this thing works.
Well, after about uh, 30 minutes or so, I've just forged up the biggest bar of the cable Damascus I've ever attempted. Um, you hear in the background, my forge is about out of gas, so we're going to call it quits for now.